So how are self-care and resistance related? Of course, we all know that Audre Lorde paved the way with all her beautiful writings, but I'll just go over this in my own words. So self-care includes the mind, body, and soul decisions people as individuals and communities make for themselves and their families to ensure they are healthy and thriving. Self-care is a means of survival. Yes, we are still <clears throat> here. And it's a means of preservation, not a luxury. And self-care can be an act of resistance because we are living and surviving in the midst of a lot of scrutiny as a person who has been marginalized and living and surviving is a radical act. It's a radical act for us to stand up and take care of ourselves, recognizing that there are root problems out there that need social change that we confront daily. So <clears throat> resistance is to resist, to comply, to resist, to accept, to protest what is unjust. And in this context, the resistance refu refers to the refusal to accept the marginalization for those in power, or in other words, to empower ourselves or others to act with self-determination, to decide our own pathway, our own self-identity, and to have what is just.